Hi Aries, it's Jackie B here. For those of you who don't know me, I am a clairvoyant. Why did I say that? I never say that. I'm an intuitive. I'm an intuitive, I am a light worker, and I am a manifesting mentor. Um, for those of you who are returning, um, thank you so much for helping me support this little channel. Welcome and thank you. Um, I'm going to get started on your June 2021 reading. It's general, hun, so there's a possibility it may not resonate. I hope that it's your message, but it may not resonate. And if not, make sure you check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus if it's about love. But also, um, if uh, the, I actually am posting all 12 signs all at once from now on, just so that if you are somebody who likes to like, delve into your birth chart, you've got all um, zodiac signs there to, to work with. Um, so let's get started on this reading. Spirit, can I get three, four cards, please? Past, present, future, and overall energy for June. Thank you, Spirit. Beautiful. Ready to go. Oh, Aries. Aries. I tell you what. There is something in the energy. There is something in the energy. I have... June is a very powerful month, and I feel like because the blood moon shook us all up, right? I know some people are kind of in that place at the moment where they're still kind of regurgitating um, all the cray-cray that came up with the blood moon, and some of you guys are still processing all that, and I get it, and I respect it, and that is part of the process, beautiful heart. Um, I feel like... Um, because of the push and because it unearthed so much different energy for all of us and it really brought a lot of things to the surface, I feel like we're all in like this really insane, powerful push at the moment, like this insane, powerful energy at the moment That's that when you embrace it and when you do the thing you've got to do, you align yourself insanely with everything that is just sitting just outside your energy field that you've been calling in. Um, but anyway, let's move forward. Waking the Lion is your first card up, Aries. Waking the Lion talks about um, talks about an energy that is coming into itself. It's it's a very spirit is like checking with the book. It's a very powerful kind of courageous, brave. But this is past energy as well. So I feel like for you, Aries, you kind of put yourself in a situation that you had to be strong and you had to make sure um, that you were either heard or that your position was ex was um, made known or um, you had to make a big strong choice about something in the past. Um, that, and so what it's talking about is talking about your past energy being very bold. Um, it's uh, the courage, oh, sorry, the courage to move forward even without knowing the way and facing that which is difficult or painful and the audacity to step into the unknown. So it's like I said, it's a very brave energy. So for some of you, and I'm getting a lot of energy around um, making a big decision that you've made in the past energy, like between sort of like before this um, reading took place and six months prior to that, some of you a bit longer, but you made a, a really, dis made a decision to um, embark on something or let something go or proceed on something, but you on, you were on this journey and you made a really, it was a very brave journey to be on and you made the choice to be on it. Um, your current energy is a beautiful uncaging so this talks about because you made this decision here to be bold and courageous and do what no man has done before, <laughs> you know, like beautiful, courageous and like doing the damn thing, you unlocked a huge part of yourself that kind of released. You're currently in that, you're in that space and I'm feel like I'm almost breathless for some of you because you are really doing amazing things at the moment. Very brave, opening your heart and letting go of your vulnerabilities. In the past energy, there was something that was kind of keeping you trapped and you broke out of that energy. You did something insanely, powerfully courageous and you broke yourself out of the energy. And currently, you're starting to experience a lot of things. Now, Spirit needs me to check in on something with you. Um, when you are living, leveling up, when you're doing something big, when you do something courageous, there are two things at play, the yin and the yang. And so with any kind of decision, with life in general, regardless of where you are and what you, there is always yin and yang. And so 
when we step into our courage, we understand that we're stepping into things that might be a little bit scary and create some discomfort for us. But we do it anyway because we know that the price that we'll pay if we don't is more than the price we'll pay if we do. Or we have a belief that it is. And I feel like that's what the waking the lion was all about, is about you going, actually, I don't know what this is going to do. I feel very strongly that me stepping forward and making this decision and me being in this energy is going to be really good for me. I don't know why it's going to be good for me or what, what, what da, 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 but I'm doing it anyway. And because you did it, you made the right choice. You broke, you're, you're currently in the energy of breaking out and, in, and experiencing things that you have not experienced ever or in a long time because you were courageous enough to break out of the cage you were courageous enough to unlock yourself out of it so you're un you're now unlocking huge parts of yourself that are bringing you immense joy and are doing wonderful things for your heart your future energy from the time that we finished this reading till six months forward and some for some further um is the royal you i mean the lion is all about royalty right so we've got the royal you here, the royal you. This is future energy. You're going to start seeing your true value and other people are going to start seeing your true value. And because of that, you're going to attract potential um, possibilities, potential opportunities and potential um, life partners or good energy or relationships or friendships or just all the things that you start attracting are on the level of the value that you deserve. So if in the past you felt like you were attracting the wrong people or the wrong energies or the wrong opportunities, um, you kind of subconsciously or consciously knew that and you made the decision to change your frequency so that you would start attracting things on a higher vibration. And because you did that, you firstly unlocked your heart, which put you in a frequency of like... Um, this is what you deserve. Like finally you're believing in what you deserve and finally you're getting what you deserve. So the royal you is talking about attracting energy that is based on an, the understanding that you are of value and you're starting to believe that you are of value. And because of that, you're attracting more of it. So you're becoming a vibrational match to all of the amazing things that you want. And you've been calling some of these things in for some time. And they've kind of just been sitting outside your energy field waiting for your frequency to be a match to that. And now it is. And so in the next six months, you're going to start really attracting and calling in, if you haven't already, some amazing blessings that you've wanted for some time. Your overall energy is kind of like crazy. I just feel like your overall energy for June. And so we're talking spirit is like, it's not just six months, it's June. You're going to start really reaping the rewards of your hard work earned work, your hard work, bearing fruit, Aries. I'm going to pull some clarifiers for you with the tarot as well, but let's have a look at this. Bearing fruit. So this is about you. This is about you starting to um, <clears throat> see the positive outcomes of your evolution. Like, so you've started growing, you've started evolving, you've started leveling up. And now that you've got to a certain level, you're going to start noticing the, the abundance that flows in from that level. So it's almost like you've been playing down here for a while and you were like, this is not a space where I deserve to be or want to be. So I'm making a decision to level up and boom, out breaks your heart and you're becoming, you're being brave. So you're opening your heart, you're becoming more vulnerable and you're, you're checking in with your triggers and you're saying, um, this is old conditioning and I know that it's not conducive to an outcome that I want or the desire that I want or the life that I want. So I need to start opening myself up more. And so you do that. And because of that, you start you start believing in yourself and valuing yourself and you start attracting people that are at that level too. And so that's you evolving, right? That's you evolving. And because you evolve like that, you start to, you start to bear fruit. Like the things, what you put your energy into starts to actually um, manifest. Like what you put energy into, you actually start receiving. So you're like, I want, I'm gonna, I've, I've made some investments. Money starts trickling in. I'm putting um, the feelers out to attract um, somebody in my life. You start noticing little nudges there. You. Um, want to start a family or you want to be um, a more harmonious family you want better relationships and more communicative and open-hearted relationships um, 
Spirit wanted me to check in here and say, remember that sometimes when we make changes, the dynamic goes crazy. And some people that have been around us for a long, long time don't deal well with that change. And so because you're leveling up and making some changes, some people feel threatened. The position, the dynamic in their lives feel threatened and they start playing up. And they don't know how to explain it or communicate it. So they just start playing up. And that's what that is. So don't, don't think that, oh, you know, I've made these changes and I, some of my relationships have gone to shit or some things have fallen off. They have because they're meant to, okay? And because of that, you've created space for amazing things to come into your life. And that is where the bearing fruit is. I'm going to start clarifying for you now using the tarot. Um, if this is making sense, resonating, feeling positive and allowing your energy to rise and you start feeling like, yep, I, I get this, it would mean the world to me if you could like, comment, subscribe. Um because it helps me wow okay i'm gonna take it i'm taking it spirit i'm taking it the um ace of wands there is a massive opportunity either kate did come in is coming in or is about to come in for you a massive opportunity that is going to change your life it is literally going to be life-changing and so exciting and so fun and so beautiful and just everything that you've been like you're going to be surprised it's going to come in and you're, you're going to be like what it happened like so that's coming for you um um so that's wonderful so let's get some clarifiers now past present future overall energy Some of you would get married, married, married. Um, because you let go of it. You got rid of whatever that energy was in the past. For some of you, it was a, a, a third party. It, it doesn't necessarily mean someone cheated on you. It could mean like that other influences around that particular person were affecting your relationship. But anyway, let's read. Um, so the powerful, the, the, the waking, the lion card is clarified by... The Two of Pentacles, the Page of Swords in the reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse. So past energy, you made a choice. You made a choice. You are a, you made a choice. So you, oh, this, I mean, it just doesn't get better than this. It doesn't get more clearer than this. You made a choice to cut out um, anything that wasn't, anything in your life that wasn't good. Anything in your life that wasn't good. You made a choice to cut out anything in your life that wasn't good. Spirit's like, there's a little bit more there. Spirit will bring it out if needed. Beautiful uncaging is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. Queen of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, holding back. Because of pain. So what we're getting here is the beautiful uncaging. Is this is kind of like the Queen of Swords energy is and this is this is the, the, the this is the uncaging. The Queen of Swords is the decision to uncage. So there was this like and for some of you it was like excuse my language, but it was like fuck this. You know, it was like, okay, this is how it's gonna be, cool, boom, I'm out of here. This is my focus, this is what I'm focusing on, this is my goal. Um, and so this energy is, and some, some of you, for some of you, like that beautiful uncaging, this is spirit's um, message to you to say, get in this energy. If they ain't for you, darling, if like, don't stay in that low vibrational energy, because there are some amazing things in store for you if you can just pick yourself up. Because uh, often the Four of Pentacles talks about holding yourself back, holding like self-preservation, holding yourself back, being reserved. Um, the Pentacles talks about material things and money things. So that maybe have something to do with money around it as well. But there's this focus and there may be some, something to do with money around holding yourself back in the situation. But the overall feeling is like the the love, the three of, three of um swords energy in there so it's about uncaging yourself from past pain don't hold back any longer move forward get focused on what it is that you're wanting to create it is literally going to break you out of so many levels of past pain and negative energy and low vibrations conditioning limiting beliefs it'll break you out you just need to focus on what it is that you want stop holding back from making that decision to get out of a situation that is holding you down and hurting you breaking your heart hurting you 
the royal you clarified by the marriage card stop it aries the ten of cups stop it aries and the victory victory card in reverse so the royal you right is clarified by the marriage card the four of wands the ten of um cups and which is like you get you know it's not just you you get the one thing that will fulfill your heart you get like the these two cards are like so very telling so this talks about the royal you calling in um we know that you weren't victorious in the past we know that your past energies have not been so two things I've got here. We understand that your past energy, what you wanted, the last energy, the last one person that you thought you were going to marry, the last relationship you, that you were in, we understand that that left you defeated. We understand you were defeated by that. We understand it completely. But the energy that's coming forward to you is the real deal. The ten of the nine of cups in the upright um, talks about you getting the thing you want. The Ten of Cups in the Upright talks about you getting all the things that you want based on your heart's desires, like based on what you feel will fill you with joy. And you've got the Four of Wands here, which is about a proposal or it's about a marriage. Okay, so it's a proposal or a marriage. Um, so if it, you know, we understand. We were like, but, but, and then the other thing is talking about um, the royal you, remind yourself what you're worth and what you're capable of. Just because you haven't been victorious in the past does not mean that you won't be victorious in the future because we assure you that you will. We assure you that you will. Um, and then we've got the bearing fruit energy, okay, which is talking about bringing abundance into your life because you've evolved, is clarified by the Ace of Swords. Um, the Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Cups in reverse. So what this is talking about is Spirit is saying you need to balance your emotions because when we're like Queen of Swordsing it, we get the tendency like when you start evolving, cool, thank you Spirit. When we start evolving, we get this feeling of confidence and when you uncage your heart, you're going to start going, oh my God, I'm amazing. And Spirit is saying your long-term joy is to have people around you and good love and kind heart. And um, the the um king of cups is talking about um maybe needing to bring a little bit more heart into a situation to balance out the energies because when we're all up in this which is an amazing card to get the ace of swords so bearing fruit you're going to start getting some of the things that you want right and you're going to be able to push out anything that does not serve you you are being victorious and you are going to conquer whatever it is that you desire and you're also going to do like there's some work involved but it's going to pay off. The work that you're putting in is going to pay off. And so there's a little hint of cash in that for you. We talked about money in the um, uncaging, beautiful uncaging. We talked about money very briefly there. We also had the two of pentacles there balancing things. So there definitely is like a little hint of money in this situation. But Spirit is saying you, you're going you're, you're gonna to work on balancing out the energies. Because when we get confident, sometimes what we do is we start cutting people off and going, that's all I had to do. All I had to do was like cut people out. And Spirit is like saying to you, yeah, but remember how you wield your sword. You're getting strong now. You're learning that you are a powerful human being. You are worthy of amazing things in your life. But let's not be hasty. Let's balance the energies of the masculine and the feminine and make sure that we're not burning bridges that we don't need to burn because there is still a lot of love and a lot of relationships for you. Maybe this is like a... Um, you, you can't be in my energy field now, but you might be able to be in my energy field later. Um, but right now I've got a lot of work to do and I need to focus on that. So I love you and I'll be back and I hope that, you know, da, 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 da. so spirit is just checking in there to say, this isn't about like fucking ransacking your life and telling everyone to piss off. It's actually about focusing on what needs to go and being really quite, um, conscious about, are you needing to get rid of those people because they're bad for you or you need to get rid of those people because they're challenging you and you 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 are evolving at the moment and it is triggering you or what what is it um so the spirit has just wanted to check in it's going to take a little bit of work to find that balance but that's okay you've got it but amazing <laughs> there is amazing stuff in this reading for you and like i said when this fell out earlier the ace of wands an amazing opportunity is going to present itself to you. And it looks very, very promising financially. Like I feel like you're going to have 
it's going to bring a lot of flow to you. It's very exciting. And it, there's a castle in the background here. There's a castle in the background here. There's a castle in the background here. So when we talk about the royal you, that's what we're talking about. I love you, Aries. Thank you so much for being here. Again, if you could like, comment, subscribe, share. Share with people. That would be amazing. Share with other fellow Aries or share with people that would like to find their Zodiac reading. It would mean the world to me. But also... In the description box below, there is a link for a personal reading, one-on-one, -on -one, and there is also a link for, oh yeah, my free group. If you jump in the free group, I go live on Facebook. I go live and I read for all my members that are in there. They pile in when I do live streams and I read. Sometimes I'm in there once every two weeks, sometimes I'm in there three times a week. Just depends on what's going on for me at the moment and when I feel called to read. But I thank you for being here. I'm so grateful that you stayed here to the very end, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one, Aries. Bye for now.